militaries have access to an enormous amount of data. The challenge now is how to sift through all of that data. Machine learning and artificial intelligence is now playing an ever increasing role in that task. I'm here with Todd Probert, Vice President of Intelligence, Information and Services at Raytheon to talk to us a little bit about AI and machine learning and how Raytheon is providing those capabilities to militaries around the world. So Todd, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, thanks Beth. Um, it's exactly that. Uh, if you look at the amount of data that's on the battlefield today, the army that can put that data to work for them, to get to a decision point and then take that decision point to action is going to dominate that space. So what we're doing at Raytheon is uh, multi-fold, but first and foremost, we're partnering with Silicon Valley. So if you look at Silicon Valley, there's a number of technologies, AI specifically, that's been matured in that commercial space. We're taking our high consequence mission system integration skills, married up with Silicon Valley technology, and bringing them to the warfighter. And I understand here at Paris Air Show you've announced a new research agreement with the U.S. Air Force which uses artificial intelligence. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that's right, Beth. We've been doing uh, maintenance support to the V-22 vehicle for a number of years. Leveraging those Silicon Valley uh, companies that we talked about, we're developing a prognostics approach using AI to basically forecast when maintenance is needed on those vehicles. So I'd liken it to uh, back when I was a kid, my dad taught me uh, religiously to change the oil on my car every 3,000 miles. Now, I don't have to worry about that because my car tells me when to change the oil. It's sort of like that. Uh, with the V22, there's a couple of uh, parts that, uh, that take a long time to uh, essentially switch out. If you can forecast uh, when those are going to fail and you have the V22, if you will, in the garage, back to our car analogy, you can basically save a whole lot of maintenance time by doing two things at once. Well, thank you so much for your time, Todd, and it will be interesting to see how artificial intelligence continues to play a big role for militaries globally.